Hey guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and boy do I have a story for your faces today. So Zshot has just sent a letter, which I will link in the description below, to Valken Tactical or Valken Airsoft. What has happened is Valken has ripped off the Odin Innovation speed loader and Zshot is very closely tied with that Odin Innovation speed loader and I'll explain that in a story later. What has happened is Valken has gone and made the Odin Innovation speed loader, which I actually currently Kobe. have a copy of. This is the red one, it was actually the Zshot exclusive. Most of you have the gray or the black, but this thing has revolutionized airsoft speed loading, except especially for those milsim guys like us. It's been great to be able to take a mag and to be able to just have it and then just crank it. I've literally been able to load my mag so much quicker. So all you do is shove in here and then load it like this and you wind it a couple times and it fills 150 round high caps. So this thing has been absolutely awesome. I love it. I got mine literally as soon as they first came out. In fact, I actually had one of the first videos on this product ever and it was on a prototype and I'll put that right here. What has happened, I'll go into a little bit more detail, so hopefully, so this is explain things, um, and then I'll give a little bit of background. So Zshot has sent this letter to Valken. Valken is a company that has made lots of airsoft stuff. They actually started out in paintball, and then Zshot specifically is a distributor, and so they get a ton of things. So Odin Innovations is one of the things they distribute. They're the sole distributor of Odin Innovations, and they're also the sole distributor of like Airsoft Innovations grenades and stuff. So those companies are making them, Airsoft Innovations, Odin, and then they're sending them to Z-Shot, and Z-Shot is the ones that are distributing them within the United States. Uh, Z-Shot also used to do Ares. They do a lot of Systema stuff, and then Z-Shot also makes a lot of stuff themselves. I actually used to work for Z-Shot like two, three years ago. I worked a little bit with Z-Shot, so I was never considered a Z-Shot employee, but I got to interact with all of them, Zach, Wallace, Wallace is actually the owner, and they're just great guys. I mean, guys that literally care about airsoft. For any of you that have been at an American Milsim event or have been at some local events in Ohio, Z-Shot has been there at literally all of them. We'll also literally take his trailer and he'll go drive across the country to all of the events. We're always there. We're always fixing guns. I remember when I was at, I think I went to four or five American Milsim events with Z-Shot alongside them, and we helped fix people's guns and just talked to them and really just cared about the community. So Z-Shot has done a great job with that. I loved it. It was a fun environment to work in. I just edited videos. I legit was only there as like a part-time employee. I worked like 10 hours a week, so I didn't really do anything uh, for the company, I was just there kind of like the side. So I get to see it from an unbiased perspective, like, man, this is cool. Um, and they do a lot of things. And just the response that people have said from, uh, from Z-Shot, even with this post that they have sent, I've seen a ton of people post it on Facebook. All these people have shared this and it's just a really cool thing. Back to the issue. Because Valken has done this, this isn't the first time that they've done. They've literally taken a product and then copied it. So there's an issue in the article that talks about with Cry. They probably copied something of Cry's gear and then made it. And then Cry gave uh, Valken a talking to, and apparently they comply with them. I'm guessing what Wallace has done is he's seen what's come out and he's literally gone to Valken saying, hey, this is not okay. You cannot copy our thing because we have a patent, which is a legal binding document. And then Valken has probably said something like, oh, screw you or whatever. We're a bigger company. That's what I'm guessing has happened because I know Wallace's character and he's someone that will go to this and he wants to get an issue solved rather than just try and expose people and destroy them at first. But this isn't the first time that Valken has done this. I don't know if you guys know what the battle machine is. Some of you may have them. Doesn't that kind of sound like the combat machine? And G&G combat machine was out way before Valken transitioned into Airsoft from paintball. And there's also the Thunder V now. So the Thunder Vs are released. And then that sound a lot like the Hakatsu Thunder B. So there's just some of these things that Valken has done, even with the Polar Stars. I know Polar Star made, the, made something and then they started out with the um, version one Polar Star. I ended up getting a V2 Gen 2, or I think I got a Gen 2 Revision 2. So I got one of the earlier but later versions of the Polar Star. And I had that for a long time for you guys that have been a part of this channel. Um, they also, with the Valken V12, it has, it has copied some of it, or at least the beginning stages, copied a lot of what um, Polar Star did, and then apparently nothing has happened with that. So Valken has this huge company, and so with all their lawyers and stuff, they're able to do a lot of, get away with a lot of stuff, and that's unfortunate what happens in the business world. I'm a business major, I'm in my fourth year of college, um, I've gotten to see a lot of case studies and study some of these things, so I'm seeing this for first hand now, and it's just really frustrating because if a big company is gonna go and produce something for $20, for $10, something that has been produced, used to be sold at 60 and now is sold at 40, you can literally get the Odin Innovation Speed Loader for like $33 on Black Friday. That's, that's super cheap already. Like it's gone down almost half price since then. I was actually at the first event when um, the guy Odin, I don't know his, his actual name, I know his call sign's Odin and so Odin Innovations, 
he pitched the idea to Wallace. I was standing there. It was at uh, Faded Giant 2. It was at Faded Giant 2. It was like the second or third American Milsim event that I went to back in my fresh, I think it was freshman or sophomore year of college. It was about two or three years ago when he came up with a wooden copy, a wooden version with a crank and handle, and he showed Wallace, hey, this is something that's cool. I've been talking to a lot of other retailers. Odin actually talked to Valken, and Valken said no. We don't want to we don't want to back this we don't think it'd be that good and wallace was there and i was there with zach and wallace and i we were talking to the guy and wallace is like yes i want to talk to you in fact i'll come back down to south carolina at a later week end and we can set out all the details so wallace just cares about the community he knows he obviously saw a good product and something that works and has a smart business mind that you have to in order to run a small business and he saw how beneficial this could be for the community and then they mass produced it and it's made lives for us so much easier because we're able to take a speed loader and we're able to use this something and it's awesome and it can load mags just so quick they actually have a smoke gray version they have the black version and then the red version is a limited edition one but this is just really frustrating for me because I think this is really harmful for the Airsoft community. If you're going to be a company that's just going to bully smaller companies, I know there's already a lot of big companies, Airsoft, GI, Evike, um, Airsoft Megastore, uh, Airsplat, all these good big companies. And then they get things from guys like Valken, but there's it's hard for a local retailer to be able to, to compete with all these big retailers as it is. But when you're producing something for so much quicker, it's literally cost... I mean, when these, if they end up coming out for sure and are released in all of these stores, Odin himself is going to be impacted because the sales are going to die, even though they're getting cheaper and more affordable so that every airsofter can buy one because they're just that. I mean, like $33, even if you're working at home and you're a young kid, like 12 for chore money, you can save up for a month or two and buy one of these easily. I could go out and buy this with three hours of work or two hours of work for the jobs that I work, even at working in a church, which I'm not going to make any money in. Um, but I think this is a really big issue, so I really wanted to bring this to the channel. Hopefully you guys um, stuck with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this is okay? Do you think this is something that's wrong? Uh, this will be a big issue. I'm guessing guys like Airsoftology are going to pick it up on his live show. I don't. I think it's every Monday. I know he's going to pick it up almost for sure. And I think other companies are going to make big videos like this. And I just wanted to get something out because I've been so closely knit with Z-Shot in the past. And one of my best friends, Zach, works there consistently. Um, and they've... I, like. When there's, when there's people that are good people and people that um, have companies, you want to back up those people. I don't agree with everything that Z-Shot said. I don't agree that with like, oh, go to hell. Like, I don't think that's good. I don't really wish that on anybody. However, I do agree that this is a big issue and this is like, this is legit. This is, this is lives, people's livelihood. Um, and then just a lot of issues. Like, you can't, you can't copy someone else's work. That's not okay. That's never okay. That's just the natural moral law thing. That's just not okay. Um... I'm, obviously, you can tell that this is a, a topic that's a little bit personal. But like I said, I just wanted to release a video. Thanks for sticking with this. You guys have been awesome. This is Alec Mac 101. I'll see you guys later.